Three, two, one, Dr. Payan! Hello! <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. And today I wanna calculate an integral I found on Reddit called the Reddit integral, which is the integral of ln of e to the x plus one over e to the x minus one from zero to infinity. And I have already done this in a previous video using a regular substitution but now I want to do it the swag way, using a bit of Feynman, I think, and uh, some trick substitution. So, the beginning is completely different, the end is pretty similar. So, let's do it. So, instead of considering this integral, let's consider the following. i of t is the integral from 0 to infinity of ln of e to the x plus t over e to the x minus t dx. So notice we integrate with respect to x, so in the end you should have a function purely of t. And notice this thing here is just ln of e to the x plus t minus ln of e to the x minus t. And the reason this is nice is because we can differentiate this with no problem. So let's do i prime of t to be into, and again, assume you can differentiate under the integral, which is usually very illegal. So this becomes one over e to the x plus t minus minus by the Chen Lu, so plus one over e to the x minus t dx, and then let's just put it on in a common denominator, integral from zero to infinity, e to the x minus t plus e to the x plus t over e to the x plus t. So in other words, uh, this times this, which is e to the x squared minus t squared dx. Lo oh, and behold, this cancels out, and we get a, still a nice integral. Integral from 0 to infinity of 2e to the x over e to the x squared minus t squared dx. And of course, notice this just calls for a u sub, namely let u be e to the x. So u equals to e to the x, then you know du is e to the x dx, u of zero equals to one, u of infinity equals to infinity. And then what we're left with is the integral from one to infinity. One to infinity of two over u squared minus t squared du. Okay, and now here comes the cool thing. So far, all right, not a problem. We just, for some reason, differentiated that, and maybe that gives us an answer. But this gives you that, that integral, and now let's do a swag substitution. So, and actually, I calculated that on the plane from, like, I guess it was from Vienna to LAX, but with a layover in Poland, and I was just working on it like a crazy mathematician for hours, and then the person sitting next to me thought I was crazy, but I was just calculating integrals. No problems there, hopefully. Um, so let me do this, this the swag way or the Payam way. So we want to use some u substitu trick substitution. So something squared minus one equals to something else squared. Of course, you might think maybe tanch might work, but tanch doesn't work because we need something that goes to infinity. And it turns out the correct thing is u equals to t cos of alpha. What in the world? So that equals to t e to the alpha plus e to the minus alpha, e to the alpha minus e of minus alpha. Then, let's do that, and it turns out, well, du equals to minus t, I don't know how to pronounce it, cosecant, 
only with cosecant, okay, square root of theta, d theta, that's, uh, yeah, uh, d alpha, okay, and there is a minus because we're dealing with hyperbolic function land, so that I, I promise you that is true, and then u squared minus t squared just becomes t squared cough square root of alpha minus one, and cough squared minus one turns out equals to uh, co cosi chen, it's cosi chen chan. <laughs> Whatever, this thing, and t squared, kusuch. this is so much fun, okay, kusuch squared, oh. it sounds like kusik, you know, in the Borat, <laughs> Borat's hometown, okay, t squared, this thing, whatever, and then, here's why it's important, so t, cot of alpha, equals to infinity, the reason tanch wouldn't work is, because for tangents might not have a solution, but in particular, if you let alpha equals to zero here, then it does blow up to infinity. So this solution of this is alpha equals to zero, and for t cough of alpha equals to one, we can't say much more than alpha being arc cough of one over t. can't say more than that, but it's okay because it still solves our problem. So the point is our integral then becomes the following. So what integral this i prime of t? So still not clear why we're doing the i prime, but it'll solve our problem. So i prime of t. equals to. So remember we did integral from 1 to infinity, so this becomes from cos of 1 over t to 0. Integral, so cos. Arc cos of 1 over t to 0. This is so ridiculous. Um, so 2, oh god, not this again. So 2 uh, minus t uh, squared of alpha over t squared kusuch squared of alpha d alpha and how nice the terms I cannot pronounce cancel out so we don't need them anymore so we're left with minus 2 over t integral of cough arc cough of 1 over t to 0 of 1 d alpha and in the end this just gives us 2 over t arc half of 1 over t. Okay. Now it turns out, here's a cool thing, we can simplify this arc half because what does that mean? So note, alpha being arc half of 1 over t. What that means? By definition, it means cos of alpha equals to 1 over t. So, e to the alpha plus e of minus alpha over e to the alpha minus e of minus alpha is 1 over t. So it's 1 over tanch. Okay. Now, take reciprocals. So e of alpha minus e of minus alpha over e of alpha plus e of minus alpha equals to t, but that's just tanch. So tanch of alpha equals to t, so alpha is actually arc tanch. So how cool is that? Uh, arc cos of 1 over t is just the same thing as tanch. So this thing here just becomes 2 over t tanch of t. Well, actually not too bad. So the derivative of i of t is 2 over t tanch of arc tanch of t. And so let's see what happens here. So we get 
I prime of t equals to 2 arctangent of t over t. And now, let's see, well, turns out I prime is easy. Now we can figure out I, so let's just integrate. Let's use the FTC. So I of 1 minus I of 0 equals to the integral from 0 to 1 of 2 arctang of t over t dt. And I'd like to remind you what I of t is. I of t is integral from 0 to infinity ln of e to the x plus t over e to the x minus t dx. And let's see. Great. Um, I of 1 is precisely the integral we want. e to the x plus 1 over e to the x minus 1. So this is what I call I. Now, I of 0 is ln of e to the x over e to the x, which is ln of 1, which is 0. So it just becomes I minus 0. So in other words, all we need to do is figure out this integral. So I equals to, if you want, 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of tang, arctang of t over t dt. And we can use this using our best friend. So I don't know if there's an identity for this. If not, let's just rederive it. So 1 over 1 minus t. That's the sum from n from 0 to infinity of t to the n. In particular, 1 over 1 minus t squared equals to the sum from n from 0 to infinity of t squared to the n. So t to the 2n. Why did I do this? Because turns out if you integrate this, you get an arctang. So integral of 1 over 1 minus t squared equals to the sum from n from 0 to infinity of integral of t to the 2n. And now, yeah, just integrate. And now, um, if you let t equals to tang of alpha, It turns out if you do the integral, you just get in the end that this is arctang of t. t and uh, that just equals to in the end, so sum from 0 to infinity of t to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 plus a constant. Okay? So how cool? So arctang of t is just equal to the you know, sum of odd powers of t t divided by 2n plus 1. Okay, so that's good, and now let's just divide by t. So arctang of t over t equals to the sum from n from 0 to infinity of uh, two t to the 2n over 2n plus 1 squared. So uh, just this, I'm getting ahead of myself. So we have that. And now let's just integrate. So we need to integrate 2 times arctangent of, uh, arctangent, okay, of t over t. So let's still use this whiteboard because we have this nice identity. So i equals to integral from 0 to 1. I guess 2 times integral of 0 to 1 of arctangent. <laughs> of t over t dt, and then that's 2 times sum from n from 0 to infinity, integral of that, so it's from 0 to 1, of t to the 2n, 2n over 2n plus 1 dt. And if you evaluate that, that becomes 2 times sum from n from 0 to infinity of this becomes an antiderivative is 2 to the 2 at t to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. But we have this extra factor of 2n plus 1, so from 0 to infinity. And in the end, we get the sum of reciprocals of odd powers of n. Just like in the previous video, and 
In case you watched our previous video, we're basically done. In case you haven't, um, let me quickly recap how you do this. Well, we have this um, Bezos formula, which says one plus one over four plus one over nine plus one over 16 plus one over 25 plus dot 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 equals to pi squared over six. And what we'd like to find is the sum of odd powers, those ones. Well, group them together, which is okay because the series converge absolutely. So what we have is you know, the sum from k from zero to infinity of one over two k plus one squared plus the sum of even powers, which you can write as sum from k from one to infinity of one over two k squared. And the whole thing is pi squared over six. But the beautiful thing is this becomes one fourth times the sum from one to infinity of one over k squared pi squared over six plus the sum from k from zero to infinity of one over two k plus one squared. And this is precisely, it's like a fractal, Basil's problem again. So this is pi squared over six times one fourth. So the stuff we want to find, k from zero to infinity of one over two k plus one squared, it's pi squared over six times one minus one fourth, and that's three fourths, and that just becomes pi squared over eight. And therefore our answer is two times that, so two times pi squared over eight, which is pi squared over four. So we get the same answer, but hopefully you agree this, this uh, method was super cool. So the swag way of doing the Reddit integral, and also the original one in the, in the file I found. So, all right, so if you like that and you wanna see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.